The topic of this presentation is John Rawls's Difference Principle. It's an idea about how to evaluate the justice of a distribution of goods. And here's what it says, roughly. Any inequalities in the distribution of goods must be to the maximum benefit of the disadvantaged. You'll sometimes hear slightly different ways of putting it. I'm just going to say disadvantaged here, but you could say the, the least advantaged might be slightly more precise, or the worst off. So how does this principle work in practice? I'm going to assume, to give a simple example, that there are just three social classes in our society, groups A, B, and C. Now, in reality, there might be many more, uh, but this will do for our purposes. And consider first a possible distribution. So what I'm showing in this graph is how many primary social goods they get, a distribution which is strictly equal. Well, the difference principle is going to be fine with that. It is a principle that says, though, if you're going to have an unequal distribution, there is a further requirement to make. So now consider this red distribution, whereby there is an inequality. Group C, you can see, has more than B, and B has more than A. But importantly, who is the least advantaged in this distribution? Which of the three groups is going to be the worst off? Pretty obviously, it's group A. Now we ask ourselves, is group A better off under the red distribution than they would have been under an equal distribution, such as the black distribution? Well, yes, and clearly group A's position is better than it was under the equal distribution. So the difference principle is say, this distribution is perfectly just. Now consider a third distribution, the blue distribution, which is again unequal, and this time, group A does very well indeed. But you don't just continue to consider group A as the least advantaged because they were under one distribution. You now ask again, under this particular distribution, who's worst off? The answer is C. Is C worse off than they would be under an equal distribution? Yes. You can see here, there's a gap between what they would have got under the equal distribution and what they get under the blue distribution. So they're worse off. So this distribution is not to the maximum benefit of the least advantaged. And the difference principle would say it is unjustified. 